Hello media leaders, this is Josh Oaks. I'm going to show you in this short video how to make a Santa hat appear over your logo. Very quick crash course. Do you see the snow on our on our website? It's kind of silly, but it's fun and we like to have fun here. So here's what we're gonna do. I Googled uh, Santa hats and I found one that I kind of like. I'm going to grab it on the other screen and we are going to download it. So let me go ahead and grab that Santa hat, copy the image. We're gonna jump over real quick to Photoshop. If you've never used Photoshop, it's awesome. You can click the links below to learn more about Photoshop. We are then going to grab our logo, which we have, and we're gonna double click on it, the Safe Smart Social logo. We're not gonna resolve the issues that it has. Okay, and then we are going to go on another one. We're gonna press V. We're gonna throw in a, um, an actual, let's go control Z, let's turn that off. So first thing we need to do is create some space over here in the upper left so that we can put a Santa hat on that little guy. So let's do this. Let's go over here and go edit canvas. Follow me here for just a sec. Why am I doing that? Image canvas. What am I thinking today? Then here's what I do. I'm not accurate with this. Percent. Um, I want the I want it to move it from the bottom up, which means I want to create extra space on the left and the top. So the width of it, I want it to be 130% because I know that the canvas hat, and then this, I want it to be 160, 170, let's say. And the reason for that is that'll leave enough room to really safely put a Santa hat in there and recrop it. This is a temporary one, so we won't save it over the old one. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab a Santa hat. And I am gonna go grab one and plop it in here. Okay, so here we have a Santa hat that I grabbed. Here's what I did. I went to Google and I found some clip art and downloaded it, grabbed it. Uh, the file type is a PNG, cleaned it up just a little bit. I can show you a little quick trick that I did here real fast. Let's go ahead and go Control-V. If you, if you are in Photoshop and you throw something in there, it looks like this. Wait, what is going on? There's black and red. We didn't have that. So if you zoom back by pressing the Control minus button or in the upper right, usually there's a minus button up here. And sometimes I have the wrong stuff turned on. But Control plus minus, and then you highlight the, the layer that we, the new Santa hat, Santa hat. If you highlight that and you press Control T, what it does is it says, hey, do you want to transform it? Press the Shift button, hold that down, squeeze that little guy down, Control plus, plus, plus. And what that's going to do is zoom you in just a little bit. Now, what happened here? Well, you can press Enter, even though it's too big. Then you can use this special little magic wand thing, which is the W. You see that right there? Click the magic wand. I The tolerance is default to 32, but we're going to make it 45 right now. I'll show you why. We're going to click on the black area because we want to get rid of it. Once again, you're highlighting the new Santa hat that you threw in there. Click on the black area, delete. And we're going to turn off the old Santa hat, which I threw in here. Uh, there's the new one. There's the old one. Let's turn off the old one. So control D is deselect. Now, when we jump in here, you can see the new control Z. You can see the new Santa hat and I can run around and move them around. There you go. Cool. So let's do this now. Now that we know kind of what we want it to look like, let's go Control T, once again, highlighting the, what we want. Control T, let's make it smaller. And let's go put that little Santa hat right on top of our logo. Now, some people would go Safe Smart Social and cover up their logo. We are fortunate to have a light bulb. So it doesn't really hurt us if you cover part of the light bulb. Anastasia, what do you think of that? Is that covering it up too much? You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's that? Is that better? Now, once again, you got to ask people in the office why? Because you never know what you're doing. We could uh, alternatively do this and, and make it just on top. No, not as cute. Control Z. I just got to I just got to know in the office, and that's important. Okay, let's. Uh, if you press Control Alt Z a couple times, it should go back a few ways, but it didn't in this case. So you can press Enter. You can press Control Z. It brings it back up. Let's go make it small one more time. You know, making logos is really just a test system. So when you're testing, how's that? Does that look good, Anastasia? Is that perfect? OK, great. Let's do that. Here's what we're going to do. Go to the background. Take the background, which is layer two back here. I need to clean my stuff up. Background. And then let's go press the G button. What is G? G is up here. It's the paint bucket tool. Now, what is it going to enter in? Well, if you didn't, if you don't know what 
it's going to paint bucket. First of all, pick the background, pick what you're going to paint. Watch, if I hadn't have paid attention, it would have been gray. Why is it gray? Well, let's go Control Z. See how this area over here is gray? Click on that, grab, make it white. And what that does is this is a foreground color and background color. Am I a, an expert at Photoshop? No, I just had to learn this the hard way, the fast way. So I picked the foreground color. Another way to do it is to press the I letter, I as in I love hot chocolate, and it highlights this over here, the eyedropper tool. Now the eyedropper tool, you can click right in there and it'll pull the same white as the background, because what if they're just off by just a little? Then what you can do is go over to G, boom. So I use the I, which is the eyedropper tool, grabbed that white, and then I use the G tool, which is the, over here, paint bucket tool, boom. Now you've got safe, smart, and social. Now the next thing you can do, which is kind of cool, this is a fun little trick. We are going to go grab layer, we're, we're going to delete layer three, which is our old layer. We're going to go grab the safe, smart, social, online safety, the bulb, and the Santa hat. And I'm going to click on, I'm going to attempt to click on them using the control and shift key. I held the control key down and clicked on all of them. Now what I'm going to do is hold the shift key down and try and click on them once. And I think I can do this usually. Santa plus that. And notice how I'm clicking on each one with control and shift key down. Do you see how the selection tool is working? Now watch, there's a reason why I'm doing this. What I'm going to do is go image crop. We're going to crop it and what it does is it takes the selection and it crops it right around that image. Why would I do that? Well, you could make it a little bit bigger and, and do a plus 10. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to do that. Now it's just easy to pop in there. But there's another way that you could do a crop too. Let's go control Z and then control alt Z. If you want to go back more than one step on the PC and on the Mac, it's different. It's command alt Z. Control alt Z takes you back multiple steps. Okay, so here's another way to do it. Go over and grab your little tool up here, the rectangular marquee tool, which is the M. You could hypothetically just go grab it and go 10% above the top, 10% to the right, and all that cool stuff, right? And that works too. So we can put a little bit of a buffer here, and I'm okay with that. Let's go image, crop, boom. That's nice too, right? Okay, so there we go. We are going to now go control, file, file, save as, and we're going to do safe, smart, social, holiday logo. Okay, we're going to save a totally separate one. And the reason for that is I don't want to mess with the original one. PSD, boom, great. Let's now go over to my favorite thing, which is control, alt, shift, s. And what does that do? That's called save for web, boom, alt, control, shift, s. Now you can say the width, what width do we want? I think you're going to want a width of 350. Press enter. Okay, that's a little too small. It's not going to have a border around it. So let's do 400 and have some fun with that because we do, once again, how are we going to figure this out? We're going to go over to the, the website again because we want to make sure that we know what we're looking at. Save Smart Social. Let's go like this. Let's hit the, uh, the, the button over here and do that. Great there. Let's go back over to the other one. Too many things going on here. Okay, so do you see the size there, the size there? That's kind of nice. I made it a little bit wider. Looks neat. I'm so excited. Okay, we're almost done. So save it at 400 wide. I think that's cute. Let's go save. Let's go ahead and put it over here in the light, bright, and polite book. Let's put it in Safe Smart Social. Logo and graphics. Safe Smart Social holiday logo. Great, images only, I saved it. I think that was a high-res JPEG. Now what we're gonna do real quick, my friends, is we're gonna go over to the back side of our website. If you don't know how to use WordPress, we've got some techniques that you can watch our other videos on our uh, medialeaders.com, click on the video tab. I went over Canvas theme options. I'm going to remove that logo. I'm gonna upload a new custom logo. We're using Woo Themes here. Woo Themes being a really fun company to work with that has really good themes. I'm going to drag over a file. I think you can drag files here. Boom, notice how I named it first, Safe Smart Social Holiday Logo. And that way, boom, we're great. Medium 300, let's do full size and let's have a lot of fun. Use this image, upload. You're gonna see it change right there. 
I could go get really nerdy and change the actual... Yeah, I probably could. I don't need to right now, but we could change that. Let's go save all changes. Let's clear, empty the caches. Let's clear that. Let's go up and take a look at the new logo. Boom, there you go. We got a little holiday logo. When we're done, we'll go back to the original one, obviously. Now, there, I'm gonna take you to the next step. You probably didn't expect this, but I'm gonna show you how to put that little baby holiday logo up in the upper left. Watch this. So, first things first, let's go back over here. Upload a 16 by 16 PNG gift image that will represent your website's favicon. How are we gonna do that, Josh? Good question. Let's go back over to here, grab this 16 by 16. You want to make this square. How are we going to do that? I don't really know. Uh, okay, there we go. That makes it square. Perfect. So what I'm doing here is I've clicked on the marquee tool. I've dragged it from the upper left and I held down the shift key. The shift makes sure it's, it does some cool stuff. It makes sure that it is square. So, well, that doesn't look right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go image crop. Uh, you know what? We're going to go image control S. And we saved over holiday logo, image crop, boom. And then we're gonna turn off Safe Smart Social on that one. We could center it a little bit just by clicking on Santa hat and then clicking on bulb also. Um, is that the same bulb or is that a different bulb? No, that's the same bulb, control D. So we could click on bulb and then hold down the control key, click on hat, hold down the shift key now and you should be able to, if you click on this guy over here, um, the move key, we should be able to center them. Great. Now, save for web. I clicked shift, control, alt, save. I'm going to go up to PNG 24. I'm going to make this 16 by 16. Enter. Boy, it looks little, right? That's okay. Let's uh, go ahead and save. And let's do this um, safe, smart, so social holiday and then this is called the little uh, the little micro logo is called the favicon. Favicon, safe, smart, social, holiday, favicon, save, boom. It saved it as a PNG. Let's go back over to that favicon logo real quick. Bet you didn't think you were gonna get into this. Upload a favicon logo. Let's go grab it from my other page, which you can drag it over in there. Wait for it. PNG. Full size, use this image, boom, it's little. You, I could have done it much, much larger, but I think now it will clear the empty all caches. And I think now in the upper left, and it may take a short while to clear the caches on both the front and the back as it sometimes perhaps does. Incognito window to see what the rest of the world sees. Safe, smart, social, We've cleared all caches. It may take a little while, it might not work this first time, but I think you get the idea. There's the real logo, this one might take a little while to turn on, but at least you get the idea I showed you in Photoshop. Okay, one more time, I'm just gonna show you what we did. First, we grabbed the original logo, then we went over and grabbed a uh, for use uh, public domain image copied it over, used the W key, remember this little W key up here, which is called the magic wand tool, to get rid of the black around it. So when we clicked on the Santa hat, we removed the black from the pasting, and then we adjusted it by using control T, which is the transform tool, made sure that we only had the transform, the layer that we wanted on there, and then we shrunk it down, threw it on there, did some cropping, made the image a little bit bigger with the image canvas size, you can rewatch the video and so on. Hope you enjoyed this, I'm Josh Oaks. You can visit MediaLeaders.com to learn more about what we do by day. You can also visit Safe, Smart, and Social, SafeSmartSocial.com to learn more about my new book that teaches teens and tweens how to shine online. I'm so thankful that you're with us here on this video. I'm Josh Oaks. Please, if you've enjoyed this, click the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. We work hard doing this for free for you guys. And then also, if you don't mind subscribing, we'd love to send you more of these. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.